In this video, I'm going to lay out the exact roadmap that I would take if I had to start from zero building a software company again. Now, I'm making some assumptions that you have zero dollars to invest in building your first software company. You have no marketing experience and you don't know how to code and build a software company and you've never built a software company before. Now, I'm going to lay out every single step of this process, but if you need any extra help, you can go ahead and join the paid community down below in the description. Now, the first thing we need to do is generate some cash. We don't need a lot, but we need enough to be able to pay for all of the software to help us build our application. So how do we do this? Well, I recommend you either monetize a skill that you already have, or you go out and learn a skill and then monetize it as a freelancer or in an agency. There are two main skills that you need to learn when building your software. The first one is obviously product development. And I would use bubble.io to be able to do this. And that's what I used to build chat IQ right at the start. The second thing you're going to need to do is learn how to market. And at the very least, you need to have a basic understanding of how to get views on social media. And the reason for this is because when we first launch our product, we're going to have no money to invest in marketing. We're going to completely avoid any paid advertising. And the more experience and knowledge that you can get before we launch, the better the position you're going to be in. How do we actually learn these skills? Well, if you want to learn either of these skills, you can join the paid community, but there are plenty of free tutorials on YouTube, which will teach Bubble and Bubble even has its own course. In fact, in some companies, you may even be able to join with very limited experience and then learn as you go as a junior developer. It's only really going to take you about one month to learn the basics. The second thing that you need to do is actually understand marketing. And the easiest way to learn marketing is to actually do it, create content and do it and learn the algorithms. When you look at marketing in general, the first most important KPI, key performance indicator that you need to focus on is views. So at the very least, if you can identify how to get views for any video that you post on any social platform, you are already one step closer to achieving your goal. So in this case, I would recommend focusing on short form content. Post a video on TikTok, repurpose that across Instagram and YouTube shorts. Don't focus on the number of views to start off with, but focus on how you create the content, especially if you're trying to get better at talking in front of the camera. The second thing you want to do is focus on getting good at creating video ideas, understanding the audience that you are creating content for and making sure the video that you're creating is going to be engaging and useful for those people. Now there's a bonus here because if you've already got an idea for an application that you've verified that people will pay for, you can create content while learning how to market for that application. For example, for Chat IQ, we help e-commerce stores and business owners automate customer support and increase sales through AI product recommendations. So we create content to teach them how to get better at e-commerce and running businesses. Therefore, those people who watch those videos are more likely to be qualified for our product. So if you create content that teaches people in a specific industry or niche to solve a problem that your product will eventually then solve, you're already building up the marketing that you need to be able to see success when you first launch. The second thing that you need to do once you've built these skills is then monetize them. And you can do this in a number of ways, but realistically, the best option available to you is becoming a freelancer. Now you can get freelancing clients in multiple ways. A lot of people will advertise on platforms like Upwork, but it's incredibly competitive. You can do things like cold email and cold DMs to try and actually reach out to these business owners and get them to employ you to do the work for them. But this can be quite time consuming and it can also be quite disheartening if nothing happens. So realistically, you want to create content that draws viewers to you as a person to be able to go ahead and monetize that skill. So you can sign clients through your audience, much like I do through this audience and how I sell my own products. Okay, so we now have the skills that we need and we also have some money to invest in actually building this product. So the third thing we need to do now is go ahead and build the MVP. Now the MVP is the minimum viable product. This should be something that you can spend no more than one week on. If you spend more than a week on it, it's no longer a minimum viable product. It does doesn't even need to work perfectly. You want to choose one feature that solves one problem in that audience that you are targeting. Now, this is incredibly important. On the first product that you ever build, if you want to see success, the best thing that you can possibly do is make it as simple as possible. The one thing I've learned through building Chat IQ, which is an incredibly complex software, is it's very, very difficult to compete with lots of other people if you are competing in a very complex software. So if you can create some simple automation or some simple tool that solves one simple problem, you're going to be in a much better position because there's going to be less maintenance to do on that product. And all you're going to need to do is marketing to bring people in. So once we've built the MVP and ideally during the build process, we want to be promoting the product. We want to be creating content on social 
social media, showing off the product, showing off designs of the product. The reason we do this is so we can build a wait list. The more people that sign up to our wait list before we launch, the better the position we're going to be in. And you can create a very simple wait list using Beehive, and I will leave the link for these products down below in the description. Ideally, you want to get anywhere between 100 and 1,000 people onto the wait list before you launch. You can talk to the wait list and you can get feedback from these people. You can see what features they want, if the feature that you're currently working on is actually the most important feature, and if you're solving the correct problems that those people want. Once you've ticked every single one of these boxes and you've built your minimum viable product, you then want to launch a beta test, and that is going to be step five. In the beta test, you're going to get feedback from your users, and then we're going to take that feedback and we're going to build it back into the product. We're going to make that product better, remove all of the bugs, and then we're going to open it up to a free trial. At this point, we're going to relaunch to our audience and we're going to start marketing to bring on customers for our SaaS project. So those are the five steps that I would take to launch my first software company if I had to do it again. So hopefully this video helped you out and gave you some information that you didn't have beforehand. But if you're somebody who needs extra help and wants to learn exactly how to build your first software company, to create your first application, learn advanced marketing tactics, and you want to get one-on-one -on -one help with me, you can click the top link down below in the description and join our paid community course program but other than that, if you've got any other ideas for videos or content you want to see, let me know down below in the comments.